The rewards of designing for hospitality are many. I have to say it's so much fun. My friends in the business ask me, do you like doing hotels? I'm like, I must admit, I love it. It's really fun from one, making the client happy, to two, making yourself happy, and to three, making the guest happy. Sometimes when the uh, I come check back in at a hotel that I've done and they tell me, oh my gosh, the guest comments have been so good. They love the beds, they love the paint, they ask who made the carpet and where can you get it? I love it, I love the guest comments. I also love that you get to design pretty much everything. Everything that, the, that you want to do, they'll let you do because they want your point of view about the design. So sometimes you get to pick the uniforms, sometimes you get to design the uniforms, and the planters, and the plants, and the flowers, and the sheets, and the towels, and the linens. It's, it's so much fun. Well, when designing a hotel, I think about it more as set design than traditional interior design because the hotel is for the guest and it's an experience and it's an experience you want them to become completely immersed in. So I think of it much as my assignment is um, one that a director would give to a set designer. So we look very closely at the, not just the city, but the What are the sounds like? What are the smells like? What is the coming and going? What are the trees like? When do the birds get up? You know, do they whistle at, at night? What is the backing up of a truck? We listen to every sound inside of that microclimate. And then we talk a lot about who the guest is, who the market is, what the brand of the hotel is. And then I write a story. Like for example, for the story, um, I spent a lot of time Upper East Side, read the book, read the book, E.B. White's uh, New York, and um, looked at our competition, which was the Lowell, the Carlisle, and the Mark, and decided that the Surrey needed to be a cut above, it needed to be Coco Chanel. So basically, Coco was my character, and I wrote a little, the stories are short, but I wrote a little story in my head that Coco Chanel lived here, it was her pita tear, so she would walk in in the evenings, throw her meat jacket over the chair, and say, take this to my room, I'm going to the bar. But the problem was we didn't have a bar, so I realized we needed to create a bar because Coco Chanel needed a bar. So it's interesting to do, think of set design as if you were designing a set for the director because if you look at it only from your own eyes, I might not have thought about, well, the hotel needs a bar there because Cafe Balloons restaurants right next door let them go to Cafe Balloons. But I couldn't imagine Chanel going in there with all those other people eating and having her Manhattan or her martini, so I thought, well, of course we need a little petite bar for Coco. And then we designed it after her and sort of after her compacts and the black and white and thinking about stage sets. And it is super interesting to see as Sharon Stone sits there and I've seen Oprah Winfrey there. And I've seen Tom Ford there all sitting in that little stage set that we designed for Coco Chanel. When you look at a property through the correct um, character's eyes, then you see it as they do stage right. What do you see? Stage left. What do you see? How does the front desk approach you? What do you see as you venture past the elevators? And you almost think of it as the camera lens would see it or as the story unfolds. And so that's the story you unfold to your guest. And you make it such an authentic story that they're completely caught up in it from the second they get out of their car or walk up to the hotel and the doorman greets them. He's part of the scene. He's one of the actors. The second they walk in and they smell the smells or see the flowers. And so I think it's important that the lobby transitions through the corridors and up into the rooms. Not exactly like, but definitely part of the story so that that guest is living it the whole time they're there. And then, of course, you have to make it such a pleasant story that they want to come back and back and back and, and always experience that story.